All right, guys, it is the day you have all been waiting for. We are finally going to get around to setting up this animatronic, the one you have all been begging me to set up ever since I bought him. And even before I bought him, you were waiting for me to buy him, and I finally found him at the next to last Spirit Halloween out of all 100 Spirit Halloween stores that I filmed this season. It is the Grim Skeleton animatronic. That's right, guys. Although I had seen him in several of the stores that I had filmed this past season, I waited down towards the end, and I risked not even getting him at all. But I finally found him in the next-to-last store that I filmed, the Grim animatronic and today we are going to be setting him up now guys before we get started i want to personally invite you to come back here every saturday night and join me for saturday night snack and a movie where we are picking out an awesome movie to watch and making an even better snack to munch on throughout the movie so without further ado let's get down to unboxing grim here see what all we have and get him set up once and for all I have been told that Grimm is very difficult to put together, so I don't know how much I'm looking forward to this. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it on one hand. On the other hand, I'm like, oh my gosh, this might be horrible. <laughs> so, we start out with the femur. We got a femur bone, all right? We got two arm bones here. We got something. A knee, two knees, two, ne two leg bones with knees. I should know what these are called. I used to be a nurse, but I don't know what they're called. So let's just move on. We got another femur bone. All right, let's see, we'll open that in a minute. Uh, okay. Wow, this stuff is tucked in here tight. All right, all right. We got Grimm's head. Yes. <laughs> I'm already excited seeing this guy. Okay. Man. This stuff's in here like a puzzle. All right, we got these pieces here. And we got Grimm's torso. All right, we got some foam pieces on there. Okay, he's actually kind of heavy. This doesn't look like it's gonna be too bad. I can't imagine I'd ever get him back in the box, but I also don't plan on putting him back in the box on setting them up in my office. And we have the base here. That's just an empty box. Okay, then we got these other pieces here. A foot, another foot, instructions, two of these, and power cord. All right, that doesn't look too bad. I guess we'll find out once we get into it though. Might be calling the zombie squad. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this guys, my hat fits perfectly on Grimm. Don't even think about it, it's mine. All right, let's get these instructions out here. I've said it before and I'll say it again, guys. I love how Spirit Halloween gives us full color instructions. They're very detailed. And even though these things are difficult to put together, the way they do the instructions makes it much easier. So let's make sure we got everything. We got the base, we got two of those, two of those, one of those. We got two feet, two arms, two of those, two of those, a head, and a torso. All right, looks like we got everything. Let's get moving. Okay, so by the way that this is shaped, this is the way that it sits up as the front. Okay, so we got our base down there. Uh, let's see. First go the feet. Not too bad so far. Back. Guess that's right. All right, we'll 
So far it's not so bad. I don't know why everybody said it was so difficult to put him together. Seriously, guys, everybody kept telling me how difficult he was to put together, and he was even easier than Wacky Mole. Wacky Mole was the easiest one I've done so far, and now Grim takes it for being the easiest animatronic I've ever put together. All right, let's get him plugged in here and get him going. <laughs> I'm so excited that he's actually set up. Oh. All right, well, he's all set up. Let's turn the sensor on and get him going. Your ghost is not here right now. They're busy burying something in the backyard. But we'll have loads of fun while they're gone. <laughs> the night is young, and I'm ready to party. Are you? I don't recall ever hearing him say that before. The night is young and I'm ready to party. Maybe I'm wrong. You best be careful where you tread on this dark night. You don't know who you will run into. Creatures and creepy crawlies lurk out from every shadow. Why, I was just hiding in your closet with the other skeletons. Perhaps we let them all out for some fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn out the lights here. Oh yeah, here we go. Ah, you look like death warmed over, my friend. This is good. Okay, so I had to turn his sound down so I could talk to you for a minute about him. He is totally awesome. It's funny because he seems like he turns so far that way. Like he turns almost all the way over this way and just a little bit that way. Watch this. Let's see if he does it. Listen to his jaw going. Yeah, there he goes. He turns a lot farther that way than he does this way. Oh, and I noticed that when we turned out the lights, all you could see was his eyes. That was it. <laughs> Not that I expect you to be able to see anything else, but all right, let's get the sound turned back on and we'll, uh, we'll run through some of these phrases. <laughs> the night is young and I'm ready to party. Are you? You best be careful where you tread on this dark night. You don't know who you will run into. Creatures and creepy crawlies lurk out from every shadow. Why, I was just hiding in your closet with the other skeletons. Perhaps we let them all out for some fun. <laughs> ah, you look like death warmed over, my friend. This is good. Soon there will be enough of us. And we will terrorize the living until we own this night. Are you with me? Halloween is ours. It's funny because when he stops this one, he's turned so far over there. Then he turns back to the front. The host is not here right now. All right, so let's put my hat on Grim because he wears it so well. There we go. <laughs> That's hilarious. I always loved going into the stores and seeing Grimm wearing like a hat or a wig or a whole costume or something. Let's get him going here with the hat on a minute. All right, so there he is, guys. I think he wears the hat better than me, even. We got Grimm set up, finally. And I don't know what it was with everybody telling me that he was so difficult to set up, because truly, he was the easiest animatronic I have ever set up. 
So, I don't know. I don't get that. Maybe they were just trying to scare me, and it worked. <laughs> but we finally got him set up, so he's going to be going in my office. A few people have already sent me things that they want to see me put on him, like wigs and hats and things. If you guys have anything that you want me to put on him, feel free to send it to me. I have a P.O. box, and I will put it down in the description below this video. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow night for Saturday Night Snack and a Movie, where we are watching the Spirit Halloween movie.